Yeah. There's not a lot going on today. I've been reading a bit of Stephen King and Watch, enjoying that. <coughs> I'm actually going to start sorting my desk out because there's tons of stuff on it. And my chair's got loads of colouring books on it, so I'm going to come and sort them out. Ones that have got whips in will stay out and they'll go in the whips pile. I think they've all got whips in looking at it. I hope not. It's a hell of a lot of books if there's whips in them all that I've started and finished. Oh, I must have, I must do a whip thing. If you know what I mean, uh, I'll whip it. I'll just work through the whips. I have got one downstairs, so later on I'll go down and do a bit of that one. I'm going to brush my hair first because it's untidy. And then I'm going to put on an audio book and crack on. Got to get it done. Hey guys, I have been sorting out my room, ready for tomorrow. I've got my desk pretty tidy. There's still some books on it because I'll be filming tonight. Um, they've got whips. They'll stay there anyway because I will work on them throughout the next week. Try and get all the whips, Christmas or otherwise. There's still some from Halloween there finished. I did put up my calendar. So last year was the first year in 30 years that I did not have a Marilyn Monroe calendar because I didn't get him one for Christmas. I normally get them for Christmas. Because of Covid, nobody went out, so my dad doesn't order stuff from Amazon, I order stuff for him. So I thought this year I am not going to be without one. So I'll do it myself. What I will do at some point is track down the 2021 calendar just so I've got one for my calendar collection because I've got, like I said, over 30 years worth of calendars. I say over because I, I do buy them, I collect them. Um, especially the older ones because some of the pictures can be quite rare. For instance, I've got an old rare Milton Green one which is beautiful. There's just something about the old ones. I don't know why. Now, pretty much, I, th I think one of the things with calendars back in the day was it was always a, you, you, there was always something you hadn't seen on it before. Now, of course, I've seen them all, so it's nice when I it's still nice to have one though with a lovely Milton Green picture on that one. But still, pictures do turn up that I've never seen before, and I have been a fan for over thirty years and collecting for over thirty years, and I love it when I find new pictures, whether it be on the internet or whatever. I love seeing them. To me, it just shows how popular she is and how loved she is and how loved she was even back then. I've actually got a really bad sinus headache, which is why it's very dark in here. I'm going to take some painkillers and have a lie down and try and shift it because it, it's really bad. If, if it, it doesn't clear up, I'm going to have to ring the doctors and see about getting some antibiotics. I think it's going to need antibiotics to clear it out. It's an infection. But that's going to have to be... Well, I'll give it this week, and if I'm still getting it on the weekend, I'm off Monday and Tuesday because it's Paul's birthday on Tuesday. So, I will ring them potentially Tuesday because Mondays are a nightmare. But we'll see. Um, so, we get an exercise bike from Argos. Is it coming tomorrow, I think? I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming soon. I think it might be coming coming tomorrow and then they're coming to assemble it for us on Wednesday because Paul doesn't want to put it up himself and I don't blame him because um, we both need to try and lose a bit of weight and exercise more and I never feel like going out in this weather it's horrible but I would jump on an exercise bike for 10-20 minutes maybe 30 minutes so we'll have a look at that it's even got an iPad holder so I can put my tablet on it and I can watch YouTube or TikTok or read a book while I'm cycling, which is cool. So I'm just gonna take a painkiller. I'm gonna take one. Oh, I'm upside down. It's just the camera's falling apart. Uh, and uh, have a hour's clip and see if that helps, because I'm in agony. I want to do some color in, but my head hurts too much. I have been coloring with Jennifer though, so that kind of counts. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so everybody's in bed. Uh, so I'm going to film my wrap up for the month of my colouring books. So books I've bought or got and the colouring pages as few as they are that I did in December. Um, while I'm doing that I'm going to charge this battery because I can't find the spare which I know is here because I know I saw it earlier but I'm a bit dim. And I keep losing things. I need to order some medication and charge up the batteries with the big camera as well because only one of them appears to be working at the moment. So I'm going to get that done, get this battery charged up and then I'll be back when I've done that. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so filmed my haul and my completed pages. Didn't take very long. And I've been sitting here, I've done a bit of on eBay and I've done... What else have I done? I've uploaded one of those videos. I've updated my reading journal because so, <laughs> I finished the end of watch, as you know. Um, so I just want to show you my little gold stars. They come in a pack like this. I got them from Amazon. 
there's like a thousand in this pack so I think they'll keep me going for the year even though sometimes Jennifer steals them and that's fine because she's a good girl so she can have them when she wants I am next going to read not that one I need to download the cover for that one um I'm going to read Richard Osman next, Man Who Died Twice. So I think my book a day is not going to work. Although I have got a book on my phone that I haven't finished reading. And I've still got that book on my Kindle I've got to finish. Um, what else? What else was I going to say? Um, yeah, I've got a charge at the back just for my big camera so I can do a colouring chat tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you this thing I bought. I bought one of these little cutters. Um, it's not a very big one it'll just about get an A4 yeah it's a big enough for an A4 sheet of paper and I bought it really to cut these out I mean I strike edges instead of the the dodgy ones I normally get when I'm doing it with the um scissors because you know scissors I think I might try and read for instance that Betty Grable and the Cary Grant books because they're not long ones <laughs> Um, to try and get a bit ahead but at the moment I want to read that one and then um, then after that one it's going to be Thomas Hardy I think I must try and fix that other book I've got oh, it's busy 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 anyway that's it for tonight I'm off to bed because tomorrow I have got to work now I do get a bit extra in bed because um, I'm starting later so I'm starting at half eight uh, yeah half eight every morning now rather than eight so I'm at half eight and finishing at one tomorrow because Jennifer starts nursery at eight instead of 7 30 because they've stopped 7 30 finishes it's just remembering what days because Mondays and Wednesdays she's still in she's in eight till one and I'm working half eight till quarter two I got this remembering it's terrible isn't it and then Tuesdays Thursday Fridays she's doing eight until three and I'll be doing half eight till one <laughs> it's really hard trying to remember um exactly what ones <laughs> what day she is but i know she's doing if she's doing eight to three i'm doing till one o'clock <laughs> and then when i finish at one i'm gonna do ebay so tomorrow's plan because i have got some photographs done and I've got some stuff measured it just needs to be drafted so tomorrow's plan is to photograph as much as I can I've got some cameras and stuff to photograph and then I've got some um clothes I want to empty the box the clothes is in so I can put clothes I've in so I can put some of my um coloring supplies in it I want I need to free up the boxes for something else that they're in I can't remember what it was but I will I'm sure there was something I was going to put in them. Don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to write up my diary for the night and start reading that. And that's it, really. I'm going to head off to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow when it is Tuesday and I'm back to it. But at least it's only a four-day week. And next week's only a three-day week because it's Paul's birthday and we've got two days off. And our exercise bike is coming tomorrow. And then I'll put it up Wednesday. I'm getting so confused because we've got an electrician coming one day. I can't remember. Whether it's an, it, the electrician's coming on Wednesday as well. Do you know what? I haven't got a clue what's going on, what day it is. <laughs> Be better when I get back to work, I'll know what the days are. Hopefully. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow when it is Tuesday. Hey, everybody. It's actually Tuesday night and I've done no vlogging. The reason for this is um, I... Uh, I had no childcare today because the nursery's closed. I thought it was open today, but it wasn't. So I just have a day off. And to be honest, I was too tired to do anything. So me and Jennifer watched TV, dozed, read my book. We went to the library um, just to put out the books my mum had. I finished reading, oh gosh, what's it called? The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman, which I only started yesterday, but of course I was awful day, so I was reading a lot, and it's so easy to read, I'm not going to lie, it's such an easy book to read, I really enjoyed it, I think I gave it five stars, I think so, I'll have a look on my Goodreads, it's already up there, but um, yeah, I'm going to head off to bed now, I'll try again tomorrow, so tomorrow, we've got an electrician coming to fix the light in the bathroom, finally, and we've got... Somebody coming to assemble the exercise bike, so I'll show you that later. And Zed's trying to climb up on my 
So I'm not going to do any TikToks so I'm too tired. But I have found a really good channel on YouTube called Adventures with Purpose. They are a search and rescue dive team who go and help people locate lost loved ones that have say driven a car into a lake or a road off a road into a river i've watched one and it's so moving it's so sad you think of these poor people the one i watched was this woman named samantha hopper and she died she was going somewhere and she had a 22 month old baby in the car and she was pregnant again her eldest daughter was with her, was with her grandmother so with samantha's mother so sad so very very sad um the car went off the road um and they'd been missing for 23 years, so it's very sad. But fascinating how modern equipment can do what they couldn't do back then. So it's definitely worth watching. That's a fairly recent one. I only went up four days ago, so... It's been snowing in parts of Gwent and Caffili, but not here. <laughs> I think Jennifer saw one or two flakes and got a bit excited, but <laughs> that was it. There was only one or two flakes, so... Sorry, Jen. Hopefully we'll get some later on in the year. Uh, I'm off now. I'm going to write up my Richard Osman in my book, uh, my journal, I'll write my diary, and I'm, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. So if you see it, look at it. It's not a cat shelf, said. It's a bookshelf. It's always not to load the pens off, but I'll pick them up later and put them back. It's not a problem. Look at him. Oh, I found a pen. I'm going to play with that. Oh, it's gone. Off he goes. Good morning, it's Wednesday 5th of January and I'm getting ready to start work. Jennifer has gone to nursery today, oh my god, but I'm shattered because she decided that she didn't want to sleep last night and she woke up around half one-ish and, oh hello, cat, and then I went back to bed and it was about four o'clock before she finally went back to sleep. The lights just went off and uh, I'm knackered. Electricians coming this morning to fix the bathroom lights. So if we can just turn the lights off, it would be fine. If we get the sockets on, I'll be alright to work. So I'm just going to get myself logged in and get started. I was going to go to Mum's this afternoon, but I think I'm too tired. I'm just going to go to bed. Come home and with Jennifer and curl up on the sofa. She'll probably be tired as well. So there we go. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. See you in a bit. Finished work now. Got Jennifer here, as you can see. I've just had some lunch. She's had an ice cream. Now and we're both really tired, aren't we, babe? You tired? Yeah. I wonder why that is. Anybody know? <laughs> so I have, as you know, I finished last night the um, Man Who Died Twice. So I'm now reading this Folio Society edition of Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy, but I've only read a chapter. I've just finished an e-book called Poison in Paddington. It's very good. That was a free one. The second one's not free, so I won't get it yet. But I'll wait <laughs> till it is. But I'm really tired, so I don't know if I'm going to read much this afternoon. I might just watch some YouTube on my phone. Because I don't know where I've got my tablet. It's somewhere safe. I'll slip it somewhere safe, but I don't know where it is. I've got one order to pack. I'm going to do that. And tomorrow we start back with eBay. I'll show you what I'm doing with that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to curl up and... Uh, I have a look at stuff on my phone. Okay, I'll see you soon. You okay, everybody's in bed. I've just had a shower. I'm not going to film tonight. I'm going to film tomorrow because I finish at one and Jennifer doesn't finish nursery till three. So I've got two hours. I'm going to do a bit of photographing and I'm going to film the colour and chats. It's done out of the way. In a minute, if I can find my laptop, I'm going to upload the other colour and chat, not the colour and chat, uh, the completed pages uh, for December. Get that up and then I'll get a colour and chat done and edit it together tomorrow and pop it up on the channel. Um... So I, I ordered a load of scrapbooking supplies from Sheen, including a cutting mat, some sticky, a sticky mouse, and loads of stickers, bits of paper and stuff. And most of it is coming by, via Royal Mail. But one item came via Hermes, and it was this one tiny pad of sort of nature um, things, like butterflies. It's not stickers, it's just bits of paper, but they're really pretty. So I might put that blue one, so I might actually put the blue ones or some of the blue ones, in, in Jennifer's scrapbook, because blue's her favourite colour. I just want to see what else I get from the sheen when it comes. Because um, I've not decorated Jennifer's scrapbook as yet. <coughs> it's just the year according to. I'm going to put some photographs of us on one side, and some stickers around here of things she likes, 
first real page will be done will be Friday because Friday she's going to a birthday party. Um, the girl's eight, but it's because it's my next door neighbour's partner's daughter Brooke. It's her eighth birthday, and um, my neighbour's daughter Sienna will be there. And Sienna's five, and they get on really well. So I think it's because a lot of the kids are going to be older. If so, Sienna's got someone nearer her age. Um, if Jennifer's not enjoying herself, we should just come home, but I want to try and get some pictures so I can print them up and put them in her, her scrapbook of her and Sienna. She's got another one on the 12th with one of her friends, I'll do the same then. Um, and various other bits and pieces that we do together over the next uh, year. So I'm really looking forward to it. I just can't wait for my sheen haul to come. It's, there's some stick. I do want to order some more washi tape. I want some blue washi tape because Jennifer's favourite colour is blue. And I want some book. What do you think? Which I have seen on Etsy, so I might go and do a bit of ordering from Etsy in a bit. There's a few things on, on washi tape on Etsy, and I don't use it in my colouring pages like I know some people do, but I do, I have been using it, as you know, in my, if I can find it, because there's so much stuff on my bed, because, don't ask, it's been one of those days, in my reading journal, let me just show you, so this is, this is some washi tape here. And here, this is a bit here, this is a, a bit across there, and this one here, that one actually says books on it. Across here we've got some writing script. So I'm just waiting now for the rest of it to come so I can do this side and some bits up here. And then if I don't put many books on here, I will put books, I just don't know when. Um, I won't put many, and I could just put some scrapbooking stuff on there. So, so far we've got four books in there. I've got another one to put in now. I don't have a picture for it yet. It is saved to my hard drive. I've got to print it up. So I need to get another 20 so I can do that. So I might find those today as well while I'm waiting for my video to upload. Um, I am cutting these with my cutter and putting them into a box. And then all I've got to do is, as I start reading them, for instance, I'm now reading Return of the Native. The Return of the Native one is in there. Uh, as I get near the end of the book, I will pull it out and do it. But I do love the way these gold stars look. Instead of having to colour them in myself. So, yeah. Right, uh, that's probably going to be it for tonight, I think. Very short one today because I've got, got to put my stuff away and um, I've got to dry my hair. I'm going to go and do that. Ow. That now. Uh, yes. I might read for a bit, but I'm pretty much going to go straight to bed tonight. Look, I'm so tired. Anyway, looking forward to this party on Friday. It'd be nice for Jennifer to, to get out and be with people. We might go out. You know, it depends. It's supposed to be very cold tonight, very cold tomorrow morning. And we're supposed to have sleet and snow tomorrow. But I'll believe it when I see it. See you in the morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, the 6th of January. Uh, I am just, sorry, just getting my computer logged on, just bear with me a second, uh, to start my shift, working half eight till one today, Jennifer's in there three to three, so when I finish at one, I'm probably going to do, well I, I am going to do some eBay and some colouring videos, well uh, colouring videos, so what I'm going to do is I've got a bag of cameras and some headphones that I need to list. So I want to get them done so they can go up in the shed later on uh, out of my way. I've got one to pack, so I'll take them up when I go to get that item, put them on the shelves. If I get those photographed, I'll be happy. I have got some clothes that need listing. My book's just here, I'll grab that in a minute. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to photograph those few items today. And then, hello Zed, he's got hold of my hand, he's just grabbed my hand. And then I'm going to do a colour and chat. And then if I've got any more time after that, I'll photograph some more clothes. So we'll just see how it goes. So I better get myself uh, sorted out and ready to uh, do my shift. And I will see you afterwards and show you what I'm doing with the eBay. So I finished work and I'm watching Adventures with Purpose. And this happens. I set up my tent and the cat climbs in it. So I have to get it out and clean it now. Come on, out you come. <laughs> He's so funny. Come on, Zed. 
So I've just photographed these. I've got two of these Sony headsets. Uh, they keep free with our phones. We don't need them. We've got plenty of headphones. Around about 60 quid. So it's two of those. Okay, so I photographed all these cameras. I've got a Taran Vic. Oh, that's not it. Where is it? This is it. A Taran Vic camera. Practica MTL3. A Rank Mamiya camera. A, a, an Adox Bertram camera and a Kodak 620. They are all working. Films available for these for very easily. 620 you can get it but you have to go specialist so somewhere like um, Nick and Trick I would recommend if you're in the UK. They who I use. It's very clean this camera. The, the viewfinder is very clean. There, yes there's some marks on it but it you know for its age very good. I will look up the age and, and when they were manufactured and all that stuff. A later I don't think it says where it was I will check the inside in a minute but I've now photographed six items that I can get listed potentially tonight I've got other items in this book that I can potentially list as well so I'm gonna go and do a coloring video next okay everybody's in bed I don't know what I've been doing I've just done or attempted to film a coloring chat but somebody doesn't get in the way but keeps climbing somewhere I don't want him to go because there's a glass there and I don't want him knocking it off I'm gonna take it downstairs when I go down in a minute go to the bathroom and he's just stuck his claw in my finger and made me bleed and I'm not happy with him no I've said he'll be going downstairs in a minute on his own anyway one of the other things I like to collect is I like to collect old slides like this. You can't see anything on there, that's fair enough. But I have found an app where you can scan them. That's a bit of the Sistine Chapel, I think. Using your phone and a, a white light behind it, so it's like a... God, he's, 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 he's been a right bugger. I'm bleeding here, look. On this finger, I don't know if you can see it. But he's maybe bleed. Um, but yes. Anyway, I'm gonna. He's up there again. Oh, he's gonna fall off. Get off of those books. Look at him. What he's after is a cardboard box. It's not even a cardboard box you can get in. And the glass. And Zed. No. Leave. Leave it alone. How many times? You. He's persistent. I'll, I'll give him. The, I'm gonna go before I uh, have an aneurysm. I will see tomorrow. Oh, my sheen order came in. It's really cool, actually. Um, this I got this washi tape, which is nice, and lots of other bits. Ow! Again, enough with the. Uh. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's Friday, seventh of January. So I'm all set up, ready for work. I just got to open up my programs. Um, Jennifer's at nursery. She's got that party tonight. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I'm not big on parties and people, so I should probably just skulk around outside by myself for a couple of hours <laughs> on my phone, reading a book. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I've got to take my dad shopping later. Um, so I'm just going to get ready to start work. I'm very tired. I had a bit of an attack in the night. Um, it took me a while to go back home. Then Jennifer woke up and then Zed was just messing around and didn't want to go back to sleep and ended up getting up a bit early. But I'm going to be knackered tonight. Paul's um, doing a Zoom with his friend tonight. I'm going to chat and a beer. So I should just come up to bed at nine o'clock and probably just read for half an hour and go to sleep. I've filmed what I need to film this week, so today. So I did it last night, it'll be up today. So that's right, so I'm gonna get everything loaded up and ready. Oh, my password's gonna change soon, so I'll have to change that. Oh, joy. <sighs> I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so I've taken my dad shopping, all that's good and done. Work's finished for the week, no work now till Wednesday. Yay! Here's Jennifer, all ready for a party, aren't you? You excited? She's got a beautiful skirt on, haven't you? You look so pretty and your, your shoes and tights. You look so nice. What are you doing? <laughs> you ready, aren't you? Yeah. Gorgeous girl. A t shirt. A t shirt. It's all new, isn't it, from Nanny Sally? Yeah. So she's ready to go. Good. We've done our lateral flow tests and we're all sorted, we're all negative. Oh, I love you, baby. So, let's go to a party.
<coughs> Sorry. So we're all back home now. Jennifer's in bed. It's really late for her. It's gone. It's 29. 20 to 9. But we did have to have something to eat because although there was party food, she's very, very fussy. So we had something to eat. And she's in bed now. Paul's doing a Zoom with his mate. So I'm going to watch a bit of um, Adventure with Purpose. A bit of colouring, a bit of sorting. And I'm going to do a bit in her scrapbook i've got a load of her stickers up here things that she likes some smiley faces we've got dinosaurs um so i'm just gonna start putting a few bits and pieces in there because obviously when i get some photos from today printed up i will be putting all that stuff in as well and uh we'll see how it goes so scrapbook for the year it's the first thing that's in it there will be lots more i'm sure it's gonna be a good year for her i hope so the things she brings back from school sometimes she wants to keep them and sometimes she doesn't if she wants to keep i'll just paste them into her book i did mean to bring some boxes up to put some of my stuff in from sheen but i forgot so i've got a basket i'll just chuck it all in there for now <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go i'm in absolute agony my back is cutting me in half from all that walking it's not a very far walk it's not a lot of walking at all but I did, I must have done something to my back when I fell off that chair. I'm going to have to ring the doctors, I think. I've got two days off next week, so I might give them a ring on Tuesday and see how it goes. I'm tired, so I'm going to watch a bit of TV, chill out, colour and go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning, Saturday tomorrow. Hooray! Love it. It's Saturday, so it's clean-up day because it's a right mess in here again. Yeah. <laughs> Zed and Jennifer love playing in the big box the exercise bike came in. There she is, little madam. You alright? Yeah, good girl. So I'm going to crack on with that. There's not going to be a lot happening today, peeps, I tell you. For Jennifer looking gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> Come out for a walk to feed the ducks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another one come in. So we come to feed the ducks, have a walk, get some fresh air. Oh, look at him go. Oh, they're having a fight. Okay, neck. They're yeah, fighting over the bread, yeah. Uh -oh. Hello. <laughs> We'll have a little walk in a minute and then maybe go to the pub afterwards, you never know. So Jennifer's having a time of her life. It's getting a bit breezy and it's starting to rain. So <laughs> we might have to go, go away soon. It's raining, Jen. Well done, good girl. I think this guy's quite old. I like him, yeah, I know, we'll go to the pub. Right, it's starting to rain heavy, so we're going to head back now. It's in a lovely comfy armchair in the Prince Wales. All I need now is a good fat book, and it'll look like I'm on Jack and Nori. It's lovely. I could use a good book in here now. Just sit here and read. I can't even read on my phone because Jennifer's got it. But, uh, yeah, it's raining. We're in the pub. Well, if they will situate a pub on the canal where we walk, it would be rude not to. So this one, excuse the noise, I have now finished the roll of filming, so I can now photograph this one and get it listed, because I know it works fine. I do have to clean the viewfinder because somebody stuck a sticker in it, and it's got a bit of sticky gunk on it, but I'll sort that out later. And I'm running a film through this lovely hammer, which I don't want to sell, but because it's so nice. It looks hardly used, it's in great condition, so. Yeah, so at least I managed to finish one and take a few on this one, so yay. Okay guys, everybody's in bed. It is time for some sleep, I'm tired. It's late for us, it's actually like 11 o'clock. Normally we're asleep. I'm asleep by now, but uh, I managed to stay up tonight, which is great. Now, Jennifer's been invited to another party officially. We had the invite today. It's her best friend from Nursery Quinn, so all being well with the COVID situation. It's not till February the 12th, so fingers crossed. Because I know she's dying to go because she loves parties and she loves Quinn. 
So we do some of her scrapbook potentially tomorrow, but I will have to see, so what happens. Anyway, it's all good. I'm going to head off to bed. I'm going to write my diary and you know, maybe watch a bit of TikTok or something. I don't know. I've been watching Adventures with Purpose again this evening, so it makes me sad, but it, it makes me happy that there are people like that out there. Even though it is sad, obviously, that uh, nine times out of ten, they find when they do find somebody, obviously they're dead. Well, when they if they, if they find somebody, they they're dead because they've been in the these cars underwater or whatever. Or <sighs> tired. Anyway, but yeah, it's sad. But I I, th I, th I thought yesterday it's sad when they do find somebody. But it's sad when they don't because that family still hasn't got closure. They don't still don't know what's happened to their loved one. They still haven't got a body to lay to rest. So it swings and roundabouts. And I will harp on about them because I think the channel's awesome. It's very well done. Uh, definitely, you should check it out. If you're into missing persons, believe me, they don't sell anything, show anything nasty on there. They don't show any bodies or anything like that. They, they they do show the recovery of the vehicles, but they don't show the interiors unless they're empty. Sometimes you'll see an interior, but it's because it's empty. It might have silt in it, but there's, it's already been checked and there are no remains in there. So they're very respectful, which I love. If there are remains in the car, they cover it immediately uh, as it's pulled out so, you, so that nobody can see in the windows, which is great um, and very caring. I think they're very caring people. And like Jarrah said, if something like that happened to one of his he'd want to know and he would want I, I think he'd want somebody to do what he does so i think that's partly why he does it i think he's a very understanding wife because she goes off on a road trip for several months of the year um to do this but um fair play to the team they're brilliant they're awesome and um yeah i love it i love watching their episodes i'm looking forward there's a new one coming out on friday which is a solved case so it's sad um obviously because they re they do recover the remains of a person but in a way at least that family can get some kind of peace and some sort of you know they can now have a grave they can go and visit and, and things like that and to some people that is amazing that is what they need they need somewhere to go to visit their loved one especially if it's a daughter or something like that so and sometimes it, it is not that they're young children necessarily but like the parent is still alive somebody my age and their parents are alive oh. So, so sad, so sad, but worth watching. So, anyway, that's it from me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. It is Sunday. Um, oh, on the reading front, I am now still reading this, which is The Return of the Native. I haven't made much headway in it yet. I'm just having a bit of a break from reading, doing a bit of colouring. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, I read so much. I don't need to read every single day. I like to, but I don't need to. And I probably will read a few pages. I t usually try and read a chapter a night, if not a bit more. So I'll see you tomorrow. Let you know how I'm getting up. Hey, it's Sunday. And as usual, it's shopping day. It's going to be a quiet day. Not going to do much vlogging. Um, if anything happens, I'll let you know. Going to go out that shopping and uh, head over to mum and dad, see how they are, and then head back, put it away and chill out. We're off tomorrow and we're off Tuesday because it's Paul's birthday. Jennifer will be going to nursery, so it'll be a nice two days of just chilling with Paul. We'll probably go out Tuesday to Newport or somewhere, I don't know. And yeah, well, better go because I've got to get this shopping done. I won't do it on its own, will it? I'll see you in a bit. I'm doing my vlog because we've done the shopping, we're back home now. I've done my exercise on the bike for the day, only 10 minutes, but building it up slowly. Yeah, we've played with the Play Doh. Yeah. We're doing a We've got to do a jigsaw puzzle, aren't we? We've got a Paw Patrol one, which say there's something like nine what? puzzles. I fall off on your toes. You did fall off on my toes. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so we can do some jigsaw puzzles. It's, it's, it's four. Yeah, well you're nearly four, so. Hey everybody, it is bedtime. It's gone ten. Jennifer's sound asleep. She won't sleep on top of her bloody duvet, so she's going to freeze. Uh, so I've just put another duvet on top of her. Hopefully, she won't put that one on her. She's a funny, dog, funny girl. Paul's just gone to bed, just going to bed now. I'm uh, going to write my diary read for a bit and uh, that's it, that's another week in the life of me, Paul, Jennifer and Zed, I've got itchy ear, I've got a bit of water in it from a shower but uh, so me and Paul have got tomorrow morning off, well tomorrow off and Tuesday off because it's his birthday so we'll be doing stuff, we'll be doing some 
chilling tomorrow. I want to read a bit and um, uh, exercise on our exercise bike, which we've got. I'm thinking about getting a rebound, rebounder trampoline, I mini mean trampoline, at some point when we're a bit fitter. We're just going to try and build this up a bit, just so we can go for longer walks. Try and lose a bit of weight. It's going to be fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. I'll uh, see you next week. I still, have, to be honest, I still haven't made much headway on this. I'm just too tired to concentrate on it. I might try a little bit tonight, and if not, I might put it down for a couple of days and read something a bit more, a bit lighter, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's it for this week. Anyway, I will see you next. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you soon. Bye.